I know if I could ask you to tell us about some of the components of Reset yeah. and your thinking behind <clears throat> that, please. Yeah, Reset is meant um, as an advocacy program, as an advocacy program uh, for a preferred regulatory principles uh, to maximize the harm reduction potential of vaping products uh, while addressing public misconceptions and minimizing the risk associated with the, uh, uh, with the gate um, category. So that's what um, Dylan already mentioned. Um, it should be, let's say, like empower and, and, and uh, advocacy campaign and advocacy instrument, which is uh, ready for, let's say, uh, um, safeguard these surrounding um, issues uh, around uh, harm reduction. So first of all, R is standing for risk-based um, regulation. So of course we need a regulation that is uh, um, aware of the risk and uh, that is differentiating between the risk of products, of course. So, um, and that is, let's say, to be done in, for, in the form of uh, labeling, uh, in the form of uh, um, uh, packaging and, and, and promotion. In all these fields, let's say, um, a risk-based regulation is necessary and uh, to be ensured. So E is for standing for ensuring uh, intended use. Um, that means, of course, um, that we have to prevent youth uh, to access uh, um, tobacco and vaping products. Um, that is a global uh, um, goal, definitely, um, to, let's say, get them away, to not, uh, let's say, um, um, fulfill the gateway hypothesis, um, which is uh, very much debated. Fortunately, there is no gateway, uh, at least uh, scientific data do not let's say, uh, validate that, um, and that should be kept in mind. However, it is very uh, necessary to protect, uh, protect the youth uh, from starting. And also safety issues uh, is, um, of course, uh, something uh, which uh, is of utmost importance that the consumer uh, are aware and uh, are, 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 it is safeguarded that there is no additional safety lack um, uh, they have to, to face. Finally, uh, the S safety and quality. Um, here we see that we need uh, regulations or regulations existing should uh, contain uh, uh, paragraphs for the ingredients um, for uh, product standards should fulfill product standards um, and um, testing in conformity with chemical and uh, uh, electronic um, regulations is very necessary. Today I had a, an interview in the radio station because of the uh, word uh, no smoker day and um, again I was asked what are the ingredients of uh, let's say um, um, electronic nicotine um, systems. And uh, I had to say, of course, we all know these ingredients already because we are confronted with them in many ways um, that uh, in our, uh, let's say, daily life about products, uh, they are controlled, um, they are tested, and so far, uh, all the consumer um, um, buying uh, products uh, with flavors and need to be aware that these flavors are to the best uh, quality um, that we can think of in a nourish nourish um, chemical industry. So E is standing for envir environmental um, considerations. Again, um, life cycle of ends uh, need to be regulated. The environmental impact needs to be kept in mind once we speak about uh, electronic uh, nicotine uh, devices. Uh, and also uh, it needs to be um, aligning with uh, the um, ESG standards. Um, that is for sure something very, very important. Finally, the T, traceability and uh, fiscal policies. Um, in Germany, we just recently, uh, we made the mistake or politicians made the mistake to put the same taxes on uh, electronic nicotine delivery systems than on combustible cigarettes. So there's no, let's say, um, no, um, not an incentive uh, for smokers um, to quit um, to other um, products, uh, to less uh, harmful products. So if it's the same price, uh, then that at least the monetary um, incentive is uh, getting away. 
So uh, that is uh, something we need to keep in mind, that regulations uh, need to ensure product uh, authenticity um, and uh, throughout the supply chain, that's very important, and uh, to rise uh, the uh, proportionate uh, fiscal policies is also something uh, we have to go for. And so far, this is the concept, this is the frame of reset, and um, we should be uh, very much aware that each of the letters uh, is um, a full-blown strategy in a way. So we should go for this and that. And uh, I think the reset is a perfect frame we can utilize uh, um, for, um, for our um, uh, advocacy campaigns.